Hi guys, in this video we'll look at General Mathematics Unit 1, Topic 1, the point finding wages from an hourly rate, including situations involving overtime and other allowances. Okay, so with hourly wage, you're getting paid based on how many hours you have worked. So your wage is essentially number of hours worked times your hourly pay. And your hourly pay can go up, say for example, if you do overtime, which is when you're working outside of your regular hours. And sometimes you can also get a penalty pay, which is you're getting paid more because you're working on a public holiday or on a weekend. So generally your overtime can be time and a half, which means if your regular pay was $100, then you would get paid one and a half, 1.5 times that. So your overtime pay would be $150 an hour. And sometimes it can also be double times pay. So if your regular pay is $100, you'll get paid two times that. Oops. It'll be two times a hundred, which is two hundred dollars an hour. Sometimes you also get paid an allowance, which is basically extra payments made for things like your uniforms or if you bring your own tools and equipment. And say for car fuel, if you're using a company car, can be also for using the company phone and such things. Okay, so let's look at some questions you might get. For this topic so this is a simple familiar question that we are beginning with so Hannah earns $31.55 per hour if she works five hours each day during the week and works seven hours each day during the weekends all at the normal rate what is her weekly wage So she's worked five hours each day during the week. That's five work days times five hours each day. Plus, she's worked seven hours each day on the weekends. So that's seven hours for two days, Saturday and Sunday. So five times five is 25, plus seven times two is 14. So 39 hours. Is what she's worked and this is all paid at the normal rate of $31.55 so her weekly wage which is number of hours worked times your hourly pay that's going to be 39 times $31.55 which is $1,230.45. So we can write Okay, let's look at another question. Neha has a normal pay rate of $21.50 per hour. Last week, she worked 25 hours at normal rate and 12 hours at time and a half rate. Calculate Neha's last week's pay. So, again, we know that wage is number of hours worked times your hourly pay. So Neha works 25 hours at $21.50 rate and she also works 12 hours at time and a half. So that's going to be time and a half, 1.5 times the regular pay, which is $21.50. That is... 
this is five thirty seven dollars and fifty cents plus so that's this and this becomes three hundred and eighty seven dollars all together that's $924.50. So Neha's last week's pay is $924.50. So this is a good way to write out your answer in an exam because it shows you know which how to work it out, then you have actually worked it out, and then you have answered the question. Let's look at another question. Angel is a hairstylist. She gets paid $25 per hour for her work. When she brings her own equipment, she gets an allowance of $30 a day. If Angel works for four hours a day for five days and she brings her own tools on two of the five days, what is her total pay? Okay, so first let's calculate how many hours she worked. So she works four hours a day for five days. So that's four times five, which is 20 hours. So her wage is going to be number of hours worked times hourly pay, which is 20 times her hourly pay is $25, which is $500. Now let's calculate her allowance. The total allowance is going to be $30 times two, because she brings her tools on two of the five days, and she only gets paid the allowance if she brings the tools. So that's $60 in allowance. So Angel's total pay is going to be the wage and the allowance added up, which is $500 plus $60, and that's going to be 560. Okay. Let's look at a complex familiar question. So Sneha is paid a set wage of $1,151.15 for a 35 hour week, plus time and a half for overtime. In one particular week, she works 45 hours. What are Sneha's earnings? Okay, so first we got to figure out what is her hourly pay. And to do that, we can do her wage divided by how many hours she works. So in this case, that's $1,151.15 divided by 35, which is $32.89. So her time and a half pay will be 1.5 times this normal pay. And that is $49.335. So we would round this 5 up and make this $0.34. Cents. So she works 45 minus 35, which is 10 hours in overtime 
So her pay for is going to be hours worked, which is 10, times her pay, which is $49.34. And that is $493.40. So Sneha's earnings would be $493.40 plus her regular pay of $1,151.15, which is $1,644.55. So $1,644.55. Okay. Let's look at a complex, unfamiliar question. Okay, so first let's calculate Ellen's base pay, which is basically what she gets paid for working her regular hours. So that's going to be 38 hours worked times $21.30, which is her hourly pay. That's going to be $809.40. Now she still needs $1,000 minus $809.40. So she still needs $190.60 to earn $1,000 a week. And she's going to make this by working overtime. Now, her overtime pay is double her regular pay. So that's going to be two times $21.30, which is $42.60 an hour. So if she wants to make $190.60 and she's getting paid $42.60 an hour, she needs to work. Four point four seven four hours. Now, be now, because it asks how many complete overtime hours must she work? Um, well, four hours is not going to be enough, so Ellen must work five complete hours. So Ellen must work five complete overtime hours to earn at least thousand dollars a week. Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll have a look. And I'll see you back in another video to cover another point of Unit 1, Topic 1 in General Mathematics. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.